Hello everybody, this is the Johnny Mayor, and welcome back to my playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. So are y'all ready for some more fast-paced Sonic action? Well, then you might want to skip ahead or go back to the previous episode, because this game, for whatever reason, decides to throw a little bit of a curveball and slow things down, starting with this level. Not so bad so far, but you're gonna see in a second. Once we start going underground, that we're just not able to kind of go at the breakneck speed of the first episode and the Green Hill area. That's okay. It's still some pretty awesome level design. Although some of it can be pretty frustrating. Yeah, so those little platforms I just ran over, they actually will uh, explode into fire if you stay on them too long. And that's interesting. Getting crushed by one of these is an instant death, regardless of uh, whether you have this shield or not. And definitely watch out for those little spikes, because those will start popping up unexpectedly. Ah yes, yeah, switches. Wouldn't be a platformer, I guess, without some switches for us to hit. But at least we got a save point, or checkpoint. So that'll let us start there if we do happen to die. Which I'm very much assuming is gonna happen eventually. There's no way I'm gonna go this entire game without dying. Especially in some of the later levels. They are brutal. All right, so we gotta wait for this little platform and miss, of course. Let's see if we can do this Ow, without getting hit. Luckily, we had our little force shield. Get up there. All right, well, I think that's so. <laughs> I was being optimistic. I thought that was the end of the level. No, no, we got more to go. Get over that. Ah, there's the end of the level. All right, so now we're going to be progressing on to the Chaos Zone, and uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, I've done a couple uh, trial runs of this one, and this is a... jeez, don't get the exit already. This one is a beast, and uh, a couple of astute viewers did correct me uh, and say that uh, there are actually only six Chaos Gems. So there's really only... wow. Two more for me to, not two more, four more for me to get. Not that they're gonna be easy to get. And hey, I think I gotta continue. Let's see, come on, get in there, Sonic. Start hitting those crystals so that we can get to the gem. Or gemerald, as I like to call it. Thank you, Futurama. Okay, that was okay. We got the outer layer gone. Just a little bit more to go. Yes, get in there. Oh man. Oh man, get it! Uh, get up there. Man, this can get so frustrating because you're so freaking close to it and yet you can still fail over and over again. Whoa, what the heck is that? I wonder if that was the extra life little ditty. I guess we'll check in the next level. Get it! Come on. This is brutal. So freaking close. I'm like gonna destroy all of these crystals around it. It's just gonna be sitting there by itself. And I'm still not gonna get the damn thing. Uh. Oh God. Well, uh, hopefully this isn't too boring viewers watching me struggle like this. I'm uh, not sure if I'm actually gonna leave all this footage in or not. You will be the uh, final judges of all that, I guess. If you see all this footage, then that means I left it all in, but if uh, there's a quick edit or something like that, then I cut it out because it was just too freaking frustrating. Okay. 
Come on. This is ridiculous. Come on, Sonic. Get up there. How about you unroll from a ball and grab it with your hands or something? Oh man, this is not soccer. Or football, however you wanna call it. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Is this it? Get it? Yes! Oh. Man, that is frustrating. So that's three of six then. And an extra continue. Wonderful. And uh, now we can find out if I got an extra life too. And I did. Awesome. So these little purple guys are really annoying, as you might expect. Jeez. Now we get fire thrown at us too. In that you have to hit them on their head. If you hit them on any other part of their body, they will actually damage you and cause you to lose your rings. And uh, not only that, but they will follow you around. The little body parts will like bounce around in the level. And if you run into those, even after you kill it, you'll also get damaged. Oh, this looks fun. Run. Jump. Oh no, spikes. Get through there. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I'm just gonna avoid that stuff. Yeah, let's stop jumping. Just walk. <laughs> I don't need to accidentally jump into the lava. That would be kind of stupid. Alright, let's see if I can... There we go. So yeah, you gotta time it right and hit him on the head and not hit that little spring there. But this level and the last of the Marble Zone levels have a lot more of this lava that you have to avoid. And that, little spouts that you're going to have to use to get up to uh, some platforms that are higher up. And of course get rings. We are trying to get our gemerald, so we need 50 of them. And I don't think the next Chaos Zone is as bad as uh, that last one was. That one was terrible. I don't ever want to have to do that again. Well, and basically, if I never play this game again and never go for the gems, I'll never have to worry about it again, huh? Alright, now things get a little creepy here. Well, crappy, actually. Ow. As you can see. It's really hard to time your jumps sometimes. There's like little little dips in the ground that you have to avoid because if you don't, you're gonna hit them and uh, it totally like messes up Sonic's momentum. All right, so I think we're getting close to the end. No, that is uh, wishful thinking apparently. Let's use our little body here to bust through these blocks. Alright, nice to get another shield. And also ni nice to not immediately lose it on that enemy. I think there's a, yeah, an invincibility here. So just go, 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 go. Because when you're invincible, you can just run across lava. And, you know, that makes me wonder if you can do it with spikes too. Get out of my way. Hmm. Can I get up here? Ow. No. Well, luckily we're not skewered hedgehog. How about now? Are we near the end of the level? Oh crap, I missed! Wow. Okay. <laughs> I did not know you could come back like that. But luckily you can. Or else I would have totally missed that. Alright, so this one is very mazy. There's a certain path we have to follow here to get to the gem. And all other paths lead to the exits that send you out without it. So let's see if we can do that. 
I don't exactly remember what path it is. And I may or may not get stuck and be unable to advance. Oh, not that way. Alright, cool. Maybe another continue. Come on, get up there. My frustration tolerance for these stupid levels is uh, rapidly diminishing. Well, there's an arrow. That's nice. Guess we'll go this way. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, and I think it's not this way. I think it's up and through this area. There it is. Alright, can we get it? Jeez. Get through. Oh, yeah. That was ridiculously easier than the last time. So there's four. Two to go. And then you'll get to see what exactly happens when you collect all the Chaos Emeralds. But here we go with Marble Zone Act 3. The longest, the most tedious of the Marble Zone areas. Plus we have to do a boss battle, of course. Woo! Yay for us. Ow. So there was an example of what happens when you hit those guys. Saw their body broke apart. This collapses. This crushes. And those shoot. Now, this next little area is tricky because there's actually a couple of routes you can take in this level. I always take this one. Wow. <laughs> that almost hit me. But uh, to get through here, you have to kind of time it correctly by jumping and holding down at the same time. And I am not getting it. There we go. Yeah, you don't have the spin dash in this game. I think they introduced that in Sonic 2. So all we have is uh, spinning when we jump. Very basic controls. Very Mario-like, of course. Mario couldn't do much besides jump, although I guess he got the fireballs from the fire flower. Now we gotta wait for the second spout here. Get up there. The nice thing about this level, even though it is horribly long, is uh, we don't have to worry about getting a gem at the end. Which is quickly becoming my least favorite experience so far. So much trial and error. Okay. Watch out for these little traps. And that guy. Not doing bad. I'm actually surprised. Usually I've died a couple times by this point. Get across here. We definitely want to hit that checkpoint. Because the worst part is coming up. You're going to have to do some kind of jumping across from the top on some platforms. And if you fail, you're going to fall all the way down and have to redo a whole section. Now you'll notice I am not going for speed. I'm not trying to speed run these levels. So chances are I'm not going to get time bonuses for points or break any world records. But that's okay to me. It's not one of my goals. Oh no, this was dumb. Oh well. Luckily I had that extra hit. And again, gems not as important. Not gems. Rings in this level because we don't have the uh, chaos zone to go to. Whoa. Come on. Get up there. And again. Ugh, and more of these treacherous staircases. Bats! Stupid bats. Wow, that worked. Alright, so here's the part of the level I'm dreading. So we have to push this block and we've done this before. Kind of wait for it and guide ourselves along this lava area. Pretty cool effect with the lava, how it's going in kind of switching direction underneath that initial layer there. But, the frustrating part, now we have to go up. 
And to get up, we're going to have to time some jumps very kind of specifically and accurately. Get up these stairs. Okay. And now we got to avoid these fireballs, avoid the spikes. And now we got to jump across these things. Well, man, not getting skewered, not getting knocked off by bats, not mistiming it and falling down below. Run. All right. That went really well. Very surprising. And jump. Jeez. Okay. So that just leaves the boss. And he's not too bad yet. Again, still pretty easy. This time we have to jump back and forth between these platforms and avoid his fire. Hit him as many times as we can in between. And as long as you wait to jump, the fire on the other side will be dissipated. But there we go. Yay! Marble Zone completed! So, join me in my next episode where we'll take on Zone Number 3. So as always viewers, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.